it's Kimberly with Beige and Gold Budgets and today is our monthly savings challenge. This is where we put honker chonker big girl pants money away. So let's get right on into it because we obviously have a lot to do and we don't want to waste anybody's time. All right, so let's get to counting this and see where we are at. So we have one 200. Let's take the calculator out because you know I can't count and we'll put the money over here. Um, okay, me and my need to be on the desk pandas. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Do you have a glare? Do you have a glare there? No glare, okay. 100, okay. 200 and, or 150, okay, okay, okay. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 dollars and 10s, whoops, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 5s, and last but not least, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 732 is what we have in cash. Hopefully it works out. Because <laughs> I thought it was more and clearly it's not. So clearly I made a mistake somewhere. I don't know. I don't know what I did. But we have money and we have a binder to stuff. So we're winning. We're on the right track. Anywho. So let's leave the calculator back there because we might need it. So here we go, y'all. This is our process. We do it a little differently here. So if you have any questions, please leave it down below. But this works for us. And so, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first is our monthly family savings. Monthly family savings to us is where we take part of our paycheck and we put it away because we know regardless of what happens, we have to have a bucket of money to come to go out, right? Like it's our pri high priority sinking funds that we know it's going to be hit. My go-to example is my gardener. He comes without fail because he wants his money. He cuts our grass lovely, does an immaculate job, leaves the lines in the grass. It's it's immaculate. However, he comes straight to my front door and asks me for his money like he should. And so I have to have that ready regardless of how much debt I'm in. So because of that, I am um, needing to make sure that we put money aside for things like that. Other things that come up also. So anyway, so in our paychecks, we take a piece of a part of our money out and I didn't clean this off. So I will. This is Mace. Whoops. Um, so <laughs> I got to get out June's. This is a freebie that I have linked down below. I have one for every month, so you can use it any which way. You can use the savings challenges for every once for one for every one for every month, or you can use it as like I do as trackers, um, for us to do like our monthly family savings, however it works for you. So the freebies down below, you're welcome. So we're on June. So this is our June one. We're now getting started. We are uber behind. So I'm trying to play catch up with content so I can get this done. It's really my accountability and I haven't done it. So recording it makes me do it. Into who's. So today we're putting in a hundred dollars. Let's color our beach balls pink. And we're taking it out in fives. Nope. No, we're not. No, we're not. That would be ridiculous. We're going to do it in 20s, 10, 20, 30. Wait, nope. I can count 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So $100 is coming out and going into our monthly family savings. Um, the way that we're, our goal this month is again, $400 money is tight and we're focused wholly on our debt payoff. And because of that, we only put bare bones into our sinking funds, only what's absolutely necessary. So right now we only need $400 to go in our sinking funds. Um, that makes, let me count this one, two, three. So three times three is nine. One, two, three, four, three, 12. So what's nine plus 12? Anybody, anybody? Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> nine plus 12 is, oops, nine plus 12. I know what that is, 21. I don't know why I did that. So there's 21 beach balls. So divide 400 divided by 21 is $19. So we're going to pay $19 per beach ball um, in, as we track. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five 19s, if you will. So wait, right? One, two, three. No, that's not right. It's not right. Um, is that right? Oh my gosh. I can't even count. 
it should be a quarter of the way done. Oh my gosh. We have 100 divided by 19. Mm -hmm. 100 divided by 19 equals. So we can color in. Oh my God. We can color in five beach balls, y'all. I, I don't know what is wrong with my brain. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. It is one of those, it's Friday and I'm recording this. I'm pre-recording this so it can, I can make sure I am on time with my content next week. So I am, my brain, my, my brain is mush. It's the end of the week. I could just, you know, go sit on the couch for, for a long period of time and call that productive. So we're putting that in here. We are on our board for June in our monthly family savings. I don't know that we're going to make this because things have been going on in our family and it is taking financial strain on us too. And so Mr. A and I are working on just putting away the bare essentials and making sure we made our debt obligations. It's just been one of those, what else can we try? This is a test uh, season and I realize that now and we are going to come through it with grace and style. So Monthly family savings, check. Okay, so let's get into some funner things. So the first things first, so we have monthly family savings challenges that we do. So it's recurring challenges, one for each month. These budgeters made a challenge for each month. And so I'm doing about four of them. So the first one is from my girl budgeting just because Chris is so gracious and so kind and just a pure genuine person. And I love, love everything about her. Um, so if you haven't checked out budgeting just because, go check her out on YouTube. She has lives that she does for just the general public just sharing the knowledge and the wealth um of budgeting uh it's invaluable y'all so catch her if you can great movie catch you if you can catch me oh so great anyway so i squirrel so 30 dollars is what we owe us i do this like scratch off mania it's like a mini one so 30 dollars i scratched off last time so i'm gonna put it in here for this time and i will scratch off for the next time we do this which will be like <laughs> later this week or next week whenever you see it sorry that was bothering me so we will scratch off this one and see what we get it's ten dollars awesome and then we'll scratch off this one too i'm just shaking all the desk <laughs> shake 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 your booty sorry so anywho, so this is beautiful. I love that the people are dressed according to the season. Um, so this lady is just beautifully dressed for June with her her canvas bag and all the jazz. So it's another $30 we'll owe ourselves next time when we come and we will consider June donezo and we'll take out July. All right, moving on. So this one is another monthly and it is called Year of Rainbows. This is the dashboard, so I pull it out. With this whole thing, I'm gonna save $575, which is a heck of a lot of money. I'm here for it. So um, we are on July. We've done every month since the beginning of the year. So I'm pretty proud of the fact that we were able to stick with it. What, what? I'm sorry. So <laughs> July is, we're ahead of the game, obviously. And so I'm feeling all sorts of cool kids special because I am saving an advance, not just saving, I'm saving an advance. So this is another $10. We have to pay ourselves the $40 though. So it was a total of 50 and we'll pay that next time, the $10. This is why I pay, this is why I pay before we play because I forget. But anyway, so $40 going in here for the one we scratched off last time. And the $10 we'll bring next time. And yeah, we'll be rich. <laughs> I wanna, oh my gosh, what is with me bringing out a song with every sentence? Okay, y'all, I don't know what I did, but the money, I don't think I ever paid us for any of this. I just scratched out all of them. If I paid us, the money is gone. I have no idea what I do with it. So we're just gonna pay ourselves again. So the total of this is $55. So we're gonna pay ourselves $55. How do I do that? Mmm. So just know that I might have to come back here and get my 20s back and give it a different way. So that's $55. I don't know that that's the right way, what I planned for, but that's what I did. So we'll come back to that. What am I doing? That comes out. This is done. What? What? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I told you I'm on another level. Okay, got a clip. And we're gonna clip it and say it's donezo. Whoa, what? Okay, so we'll put it behind us. Actually, we'll put it over here like we normally do. Okay, so we'll bring out the next one, which is this, 
and we're gonna scratch off a couple to see what we need to bring either next time or if I have a little bit left over, we're gonna come back and pay some of this because we are behind in the month of June. So any which way I can catch up, I'm going to. So that's $19 right there. We'll stop there and just see. Actually, I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so it's $26. Okay, now I'm done, so. <laughs> now I'm done. Stop. Okay, so June is super cute. It's a little ice cream cone. Um, it's done for that one. And then Deeb's plans and budgets. I think everybody's doing this one. It's a freebie that she put out there for um, kind of like uh, my, my trackers. But she created these. It's super duper awesome. And you just kind of do what you can. And we've been trying to make this, make us money. So we have been putting in the most. Um, so this one, we said every star is worth $5. So that's $60 and we did a bonus. So we paid the bonus already. So we will continue on by, there we go. Um, coloring these in and paying ourselves another $30 on this one and calling it done. Sorry, my brain won't let me move on unless all of these little itty bitty stars are colored in. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. It's just a sign of completion. I need to see it completed. Um, so anyway, I'm excited about 4th of July. Um, I heard, who was I was listening to? I think it was Hey K, Hey K Budgets. And I was listening to her video and she was saving for 4th of July to buy fireworks. And we're in our HOA, we're not allowed to have fireworks. And, you know, I'd be the one that gets caught and gets fined. So I'm not, obviously I'm not going to do it. But I really, really wish we had a place of personal fireworks. That would be super fun because going out to fireworks, it's always a hassle. I don't know, it is late and, you know, you're away from home. I'm old fogey apparently and I don't want to be outside late. I don't know what it is. And then I know that I just don't like being on the road when there's potential for drunk drivers to be out there, you know, better safe than sorry. So anyway, like I said, I'm an old fogey now, apparently. I don't know when I when that happened, but apparently it happened when I was not aware. <laughs> so 4th of July, we do like to hang out 4th of July, like by the pool and stuff, just not going out to like see fireworks anymore. It's weird. And Miss B's not a big firework person. Eh, you can't win them all. So anyway, so $60 is what we're supposed to save, plus the bonus of 65. So 40, 50, 65, Okay, and there's three extra dollars. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't think that was my fault. I don't know why I picked up three dollars just now. I think I said 33 in my head, but it that's right. Okay. Y'all I'm a hot mess today. My brain is a million other places. So okay, we're gonna paper clip this here and consider it done. So that's two done in monthly savings challenge. So I already have the next one out here and we will go in and define it and put it on the table. So this is $10, we're on August now and it's saving $10 per little book icon with an apple on top. I can't wait to color this in. Um, and so we'll make each one of these $10. So that will be $50 total um, that we will owe ourselves next time to finish August off. So we'll bring another $50 for this one. So there's that. And then, woo, my favorite. Okay, so now we are gonna get into the creme de la creme <laughs> of our process, which is the Taylor Budget um, Ultimate Savings Challenge Book, Volume 2, Level 2. Um, I still haven't gone out there and looked, but I'm gonna repeat myself and say, oh my gosh, these things are dumb nuts. Um, and say that I don't know that she has this digital, she might have this digitally available. She's not making hard copies of it anymore. Um, this was over a year ago that I got this book. And so, um, yeah, but she was doing digital copies of it. And if you can get it, it's an awesome book. It's worth it. And it's well, it's well created as far as the thought process that went behind it. So I'm grateful. All right, guys. So this is what we do when we come to this. We play it together not gonna don't cheat and maybe you don't remember because it was a long time ago because I don't remember but the way we play this is I'm gonna hold this up I'm turning it so you don't cheat and we are going to look for a word together and whoever finds it first you put a comment I'll speak it you write it clearly and you let me know um uh when you find it 
that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. My brain is like everywhere, but not here. So, okay, here we go. So one, two, three. Let me tell you the word. And I try to hold it as still as possible without glare. So if you see me moving, it's because I'm realizing there's a glare. Okay, the word that we're looking for is funds, F-U-N-D-S, funds. Make sure you don't find sinking funds. It's funds by itself, okay? So every letter is in camera and there's a glare. I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, go. Well, you're probably already going and I'm wasting my time trying to get this in shot for you. There we go. Let me look. I can't find it. Mm. Oh, that's sinking funds. Ah! I found it. Did y'all find it already? I bet you did. Er, I found it. It's right here funds okay keep a write a comment down below tell me your time marker for when you found it um hopefully i beat you <laughs> i want you to find it and yeah i still want you to win okay so we pay five, fifty dollars to find each word so a fifty dollars going in here and now we have and i did a cash consolidation on this recently so i'm very excited because this is now in the bank so we have five hundred eight hundred or what, hold on, 850, 950. We have 950 in the bank and we have 150 in cash. So this one is donezo. Okay, so we're done with this. We're gonna put this to the side and let's do some boxes. So this one is the one that I've, the very first thing I ever created on Etsy and it's called my monthly family savings challenge. And it's still available if you want to get it. And it's, it's, it's dated by the month, but not by the year. So each one of these are envelopes and there are one for each month of the year. And I have tweaked this since I've made this the first time. Like it's easier for me to make <laughs> and it's easier for you to read the words. Cause like on July, you can't even read that because it's so faint um, in the pink. So I give it a background and you can see it, it's beautiful. Anywho, so we're on June. We haven't started June yet, it's empty. And so let's get started with June. So the way you do this is very simple. <laughs> You choose a denomination you want to fill. Today, we are filling out 20 and 30. We're going to put, mm, let's go, we have so many fives. So we have 20 and 30. So let's do a 10 and a 20. That's 30. And let's do one, two, three, four for the 20 that way. So this should be, yeah. There we go. That's right. Okay, so we have $50 going in the hole. And we stuff it and forget about it, y'all. Of course, y'all know on lamination, you can mark it with a permanent marker and or a um, expo pen. And you can wipe it off with alcohol or dry erase, which means you can just wipe it off. All right, so um, next time we do this, we'll stuff the rest. What am I doing? We'll stuff the rest with 25 and 20, which is 45. We'll bring that next time and we will finish June on time. Right. So this is my dream big series. And in the dream big series, can you see that? In the dream big series, there's three different levels. There is the big honker chonker. This one is about to save a lot of money um, over a designated period of time, like however, however aggressive you want to be. So I do sell this on my Etsy shop. You get the binder itself, obviously with the label, and then you get a tracker and the envelopes. So let's stuff it for myself. I have a dream, y'all. I am in one of my, I'll tell you, well, no, I'm not gonna tell you my dream until it comes to fruition. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, we've already done this once. We're going. We're doing it again, which is awesome, right? Like the commitment. Um, and so we only have three things left. And so we're on, we have two 150s. So 150, 150, and 200. So the way this is set up is it repeats each number twice and I have it going um, by increment. So this 220s, 240s, and you see we've stuffed them already, 260s, 280s, and 100s, 
and then now we're on 150s and then there's two 200s and we've apparently already done one of the 200s mm -hmm. so now we just have to do 150 150 and the other 200 winning winning okay so let me color this. i always forget to color this off so it can dry by the time we're done so we're doing a 150 today because we are doing the darn thing we got to get it done y'all so do y'all have your goals I don't want to know what your, not your, I don't need to know what your goals are. But what I really do want to know is, are you doing things like big, big moves to make things happen? And what is your approach? Like what big move thing are you doing to make your dreams come true? Um, I'm curious because everybody learns from everybody else, right? Like you are always learning and ad ad adapting and evolving. And part of this process, right? Like because we're recording, I'm sharing my story so you can be motivated to do something similar um, in any part of my process, right? And then obviously I'm holding myself accountable with my process in and of itself. Um, but my hope is that you take it and you make it better. I Don't don't listen to me. I'm, I am not a financial advisor. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I have debt and I want to see the debt gone. That's all I can attest to. And I'm pretty sure that everybody in America has a form of debt. If it's simple as mortgage, it's a simple as a retail, like, you know, consumer debt, like uh, credit card debt, like any sort of debt that you have, you have to be motivated somehow to get rid of it. And beyond just making monthly payments, because that's not going to get rid of it with any haste or you getting further in debt because of the interest. So I'm curious to know what you are doing to get rid of or to meet your financial goals. Blech. That's what I want to say. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. So, okay. So we made some good progress. Now we have one, one 150 left and a 200. So like I said, I sell this one on Etsy. It's been really popular only because I feel like everybody's, this puts dreams into a, a, a tangible reach, if that makes sense. So we will keep that on the desk while we finish these other ones. So the next one that I have in my series is called Dream a Little Dream. And it is a play on the 24. And I'm coming up with a 25 version. If a couple people have asked. And yes, I'm going to have a 25 version. But this is just, there's no there's no year on it. It's just play it on the 24. But you can do this anytime you want. Any way you want. So 24, if that's the denomination you choose, you can do it. Or do two plus four and put sixes in there. You can do this any which way you want. You can ignore these all together and put whatever amount of money you have. So this is really functional and I love it because it goes discreetly away, put it away, forget about it. So anyway, so we're on June and let's see what word damage we're going to do. Okay, so we, I have so many of these fives left. I don't know what I'm going to do. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's 25. One, or yeah. Is that 25? Ah, yes, 25, sorry. I don't know if I said four or five. So that's 25. And then this one, I'm going to regret it. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Let me use, I don't even know what to do. Let's just do one now and I'll come back to this, okay? So I'm sorry that I'm making this a longer video than it needs to be, but I just don't know what I did with my numbers, with the money. It's been, I've had this money so long, I just haven't recorded this video. So that's my fault. Okay, let's do orange. Just, like I said, I was trying to do the colors of the rainbow and I've completely, nope, I've completely forgot, forgotten what we've done in the, in the other months. So June is done. We have 125 on the board. So we'll come back and do more if we can. Otherwise, we'll take care of it next time. Last but not least is our dream, our daydream box. So this is part of my dream series, number three. And this is a dream box. And I have all of these. You get like 20 cards in here. And they have positive affirmations on here. And on the back is a scratch off. So you get to think positive thoughts as you scratch your way to savings. <laughs> so this one says amazing grace. Y'all... I know everybody knows the song, Amazing Grace, but have you really, oh my gosh, have you really, oh my gosh, but have you really sat down and thought about what that phrase really means? So for me, Amazing Grace is when you show ultimate deference, right, to people's situations, people's, you know, emotion reaction, emotional reactions. Y'all, it is hard to show people grace. Trust me. I I get it. One, two, three. Let's scratch another one. Um, and so I am 
So this one says laugh every day. Huh, you know I'm about this. Laugh and smile, y'all, every day. I don't even have to explain myself on that one. But anyway, amazing grace to me is just showing ultimate grace to the situations that you think are not worthy of grace. That is the ultimate giving of grace to me. Okay, next. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a... <laughs> it's a 10. So it's great that we're saving it. I just don't think... I think... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. I don't, we're going to take a 10 and we're just going to, we're going to hope and pray that we can make it through. So this one is actually being saved in my purple scratch off binder. I I just posted the scratch mania. So you know what I'm talking about. So this Kimmy's budgets actually holds this too. So the next time that I come to scratch off mania and pay that last installment, I'm going to take all of this out because I don't want it sitting in here. So um, this will get taken out at that point. So I'm not gonna count it. We'll count it when we actually do that. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in here. So I think we're almost done with these cards too, which would be awesome. We only have three more left, yay. So this is my prototype. I have a bunch, of, like I've made them so often now that I've got it down and they're prettier than this. Um, and they come in blue, green, and pink. So I love it. That was my little daydream. Actually, there's one other thing in our dream series. Hold up, wait a minute. In my happy planner, we have our social challenges, right? Is it in social? No. Here it is. We have our dream year. So this is a freebie down below. And <clears throat> I love this one. I, it's hard. This is a challenge in and of itself to do, let alone, you know, calling it a savings challenge. So this one is where you, so the premise of this is every month you add a dollar to the day and save that. So what I'm trying to say is a dollar day in January, then we added $2 for every day in February, then we added $3 for every day in March and so forth. So we're down in June. So it's $6 a day um, for every day in June, which equals if you just do the whole month at a time, $180. So we are putting away $180 today. So here's 150, 170, 180 going away for today. So, um, part of my reach, this one is in my Kimmy's budget. I keep it in here, um, because it's, it's my challenge. And so we, I have all of my challenges in here that I'm doing. And so dream year is the one I'm doing. And we are going to add this $100, $180 into this. So right now, let's add, I'm going to count this because I am curious. Curiosity killed the cat, y'all. Killed the cat. Okay, so in the bank, we have $350. And to that in cash, we have one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 84. 450, 60, 75, 76, 77. So $477 in cash and 350 in the bank. So that's by saving for this one challenge, y'all. Do you see why I do it? <laughs> it's a challenge, but this money is going to save us because I think I'm going to put that in our car registration and we will be able to um, pay our car registration for the next six months without without problems which y'all y'all that car registration is serious okay so 180 dollars in the hole and i actually count color in my cloud to denote it is done so so next pay period i might if depending on how much money i have in disposable income um probably not much because i went way cuckoo crazy overboard on scratch off mania and i have to bring 500 dollars <laughs> to the table no 450 to the table essentially so okay so june is done we're on to july you'll see some of the colors already colored in and that's because i'm chipping away at the mount so it's not so insurmountable when i get to that month so in july we have to pay 217 dollars which is seven dollars a day for all the days in july so you see how i'm trying to chip away at that thousand dollar savings challenge so every every paycheck on every month we've been putting money in here so all of these have been populated all these envelopes have their money 
and we are on the last set of um, numbers. So this is the last one. There's five. So it goes 20, 30, 40. We already did 50 and 60. So 40 we can do. What is what is all? So all of this is left over. I'm double checking. Yep. Okay, so here's 40 for sure. I know we can pay that off. Dunzo. Actually, I'm going to, let's take like that. So this is the 40 because we have to do the 60 and we've actually finished this challenge. So we can unstuff it. Ah, all of them just separated. <laughs> Let me try again. Hold on. Hold please. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh, whatever. We're over. <laughs> so 50 is done. Yay. And so 60 is the last one. So let's see what we can do. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. We did it. Yay. Okay. I really don't want to stretch out this pocket, but it's okay. So $60 going in here and we were able to, this is officially done y'all. What? What? So, okay, gotta do it again. Cause I am shocked, awed and impressed. Look at that guys. Yay! Oh my gosh, I really didn't think I'd be able to do it. <laughs> I have faith in myself, don't get me wrong. But y'all, that was a huge undertaking and we did it. We did it and I wanted to do it twice this year and we finished it essentially in half a year. A little over, but it's because I didn't focus on the first part of June. Um, so it got away with me. But technically, we have done the darn thing with this challenge. So I'm going to unstuff it and we're going to do it again. Try to anyway for the rest of the year. So we are going to have $2,000 saved by just doing this twice. So I'm going to unstuff this one maybe on... I don't, it's on um, shorts or maybe on my members only channel. So y'all, if you're not a member, take a look at my perks down below. They're pretty legit awesome. And we'd love to have you join us. We have fun. We have fun, y'all. We have fun. Okay, so I'm going to go on. Let's this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Where did I say I want to put this? Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I want to finish. Mm -hmm. I can't do one of the boxes. Let's do one of these. Let's do another card. Because the only other thing we can do is the scratch off for June and pay some of that off now. But we can bring that later. So let's do our scratch off and see. So this one says, faith can move mountains. Facts have Faith is the is the essence of the things unseen, y'all. You have to believe in the things you cannot see, which is including the success of yourself, y'all, your financial success. You have to believe that you can be debt-free to become debt-free. Just believe that, <laughs> if anything else. So have faith in the fact that you can do the things that you need to do to become debt-free, okay? feel like a preacher's kid and I am 100% not. <laughs> I am not, not, not. Okay, so that was $3. So we'll put that in Kimmy's budgets. And then let's see. So this one says, be joyful always. Y'all, when am I not joyful? When am I not? Another three. Ooh, okay. We are able, maybe we can finish this challenge and bring in something else of mine. That's what I would like to do. Um, where's, oh. It's right in front of me. I didn't see it. Okay, so another $3 going indie hole. And we have one left. Yay! Okay, so I might actually... I say I want to do another one, but I might actually get a different box. So I have another box um, that I do, and I can bring out that one and show you those affirmations that are on those. So this one says, love can tell a million stories. Y'all... These, 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 oh no, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, so we're going to have an IOU. <laughs> ay, 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 
Okay, it's okay. So the last one was a 10. And I knew should have known better. I don't know how, but I should have. The highest boxes number in these boxes is a 12. So I should have known. So that was three. So we owe ourselves seven dollars, y'all. We have an IOU for seven dollars now. We went from having too much money to owing money. Always the case, right? So we're gonna add this to the back of here, and then I owe us seven dollars. So let me get an IOU. All right, found one. I had to wipe it off. So we have an IOU, so we're gonna call it $7. And I'm gonna attach this with it so I know what it's for. Cause when I see an IOU in here during Scratch Off Mania, I'm like, wait, what? Cause I pay in arrears or pay in advance, pay in arrears, whatever the word is. And an IOU doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, but having this will make it make sense. Okay. So let me clip this and we are done though, I think. And that works out because we did, we did that and the other challenge from Scratch Off Mania will be done. So the taking money out of here now makes tons of sense. Done and done. Okay, so I will pay that IOU off. This one is done. Um, oh wait, gotta ring the bell for that. We're finishing this, so I need to remember to put a dollar in this and a dollar. I'm gonna leave it on my desk, so I don't forget. And y'all, we had a productive, productive monthly savings challenge day. Yes, we did, indeed. All right, I'm gonna say thank you for entertaining me. We finished two challenges, well, three, four challenges, really. We finished four. So I am all about this life right now. Okay, and this little panda's mooning us, so let's move that. <laughs> Okay, y'all, focus. <laughs> we are making strides, y'all. We are we are taking names. We are putting it down. We are doing the darn thing, and I am here for it. I feel like 25K, my road to 25K this year, is super, super achievable. We just got to stay committed. That's the name of this game, right? Commitment. So, all right, so I'm going to say please hit that like button if you can. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Y'all, just let me know you were here. I'd love, love, love to meet you. This is the only way we can react or interact. And I am, I want to get to know the people that are on a journey. I mean, no one wants to do this alone. And I am here to be your accountability partner if you want one. Um, just ask anybody. If you reach out to me, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. So, um, yeah. So, Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Um, I will say, be kind, be blessed, be the reason someone smiles today, y'all. And I, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.